and welcome back to another episode of the Decades Challenge HBCU Edition. Now you may be asking yourself why HBCU Edition and I will tell you how that relates to this particular time period. HBCU of course stands for Historically Black Colleges and Universities. They are colleges that are deeply rooted in the African American experience either founded or started by an African-American group of educators or funded for the specific specific purpose of educating African-Americans. And many of them, not all of them, not by a long shot, many of them are post-Civil War institutions meant to educate African-American children. Even though the Johnsons are not educated people, they do keep books in the house, which suggests that at least some of them can read and they also want to have a better life so they are doing what they're doing now in the hopes that they will improve their lot in life and that their children might be educated so Sam Johnson is doing some gardening trying to get him to do some cleaning as well and yeah let's get Mary to harvest sell that sage Oh, you can collect soy wax? What kind of plant is this? Soy plants? Huh, okay. So we'll collect soy wax. I don't know what we can do with the, the soy wax at this point. But, you know, we'll keep it in our inventory for now. So we owe the landowner $23. I will subtract that soon. That just made it $28. I am trying to keep track, I promise. Oh, strawberries, great. Let's sell all the strawberries. What condition are these? I'm just gonna sell them because we have strawberries on the table. We're good. Ruby May is in some kind of distress, not sure what is going on except that she might just be uncomfortable so okay let's see if we can help her out yeah she's uncomfortable from being pregnant so there's not much that we can do there I think though she can tell her husband what the situation is with the family I don't know if he's figured it out yet <laughs> here we go And he's very excited. Yay, Sam. Okay, so I'm glad that they had that moment. Mary's asleep in front of no fire. Okay, let's try to get them to do a little cleanup and a little gardening. I don't know what the deal is with this. Yeah, it's probably out of season. It looks like fire leaf can be harvested. Good, okay. And I thought Mary was going to harvest the strawberries, but she did not. What is the matter with Ruby May now? She's gotta to go to the bathroom. Oh, what is this? She's gonna be attacked by bats? What the heck? Okay, laundry is the source of income for the family, so if she's doing laundry, that's okay. Uh, but she does need to go to the bathroom, so let's do that. Gladdy is asleep, and nope, she's awake now. She's awake, and she's dirty, and she's hungry, and she needs to go back and fish. Okay, Mary's still asleep at the fire. Sure would be nice if she was awake, but that is okay. Let's see if we can get Mary to water. No, I don't think these are in season. Yeah, they're out of season. They're in season. Okay, Mary. Can't water them, though. That's okay. No, oh, she's... Oh, she's attacked by bats. Oh, no. I don't think there's anything I can do to help her. Well, you curse about it, girl. Yeah, me too. Look at that. Our avocado trees. They're growing. They're growing. I see you, Knox Greenberg. You're not a part of this story.
Oh, lots of, what happened here? This is a hot mess here. And I don't think anybody's ever going to really clean up the trash. So I have to make my peace with the trash. Okay, we need some fish so we can send Gladdy and Mary back to the lake. She's cleaning, cool. Back to the lake to fish because Gladdy is really good at fishing. I sold all of her fish thinking that was a good thing to do. It was a stupid thing to do. I own that. Um, so they need more inventory. So I can get her to... Yeah, how about examine the water and then go fishing. And then I'll get Mary to dig this up. Because whatever's in here is a good source of income. And I'm going to do a, a quick scape to see if those plants... There was an onion plant and a strawberry plant that could be a source of, of food and seeds. Hmm. Uh, oh, there are the strawberries, and it looks like they can be harvested. All right, Mary. Uh, Ruby May, something's wrong with her. Oh, she's embarrassed. Okay. I don't, I don't care if she soaks her head in embarrassment. safe. Sam's not doing anything, though I am sure there are things that could be done here. Okay, let's go back over to the fishing hole, see what Mary's doing. Why is there a naked person there? Oh, good grief. Sometimes, Sam's. Sometimes. Ah! What's this? Is this no? Is it winter? No, it's spring. Is it snowing in the spring? That happens. I'm not clueless, but that's well and interesting it is. Okay, good. Lots of strawberries. And I don't know if these are good quality, but I really hope they are. They're normal quality, which might be better than what we've got back home. Okay, now that Mary's finished with that, she can join Gladdy fishing. And she's not as good at fishing as Gladdy is. Where is Gladdy anyway? Oh, she's just getting there. Okay. She's examining the water. And I see one fish, two fish, three fish, four, five, six, seven. I see a lot of fish, Gladdy. Oh, and that one's behaving weirdly. Fish? Oh, she's examining. I forget what she's doing. Okay, Mary has decided not to fish, so... Let's get her to go home. I think it may be time for Sam to interact with the bees again. Ah. Are we ready? Not quite. Oh, she's got a lot of drama. Oh, she's got morning sickness. Oh, you poor thing. Well, prior to that, she was pretty clean and flirty, and now she's uh, barfish and uncomfortable. Where is Mary? Mary's gone to bed, and Mary loves to sleep on a bench. <laughs> Please take the trash. Nobody wants to take the trash out. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Gladdy is fishing with, um, I think this woman's name is Johnson as well. Yeah, Bella Johnson. No relation, but uh, potentially friend, a friendship. Come back, Bella. You're the only friend we've met. Oh, dear. Oh, this avocado tree is looking really good. I'm impressed. Let's fertilize it with Snapdragon, because that's really all we have. I can't seem to control the cooking of hot dogs. And I've lost count of how much we owe 
the landowner, so I'm just going to make it 671 because it's too complicated to keep up with. Oh, we have trees. Look at that. Those are looking fantastic. Let's fertilize them with Snapdragon and more Snapdragon and possibly more Snapdragon. You know, I think maybe we just had the one bit of Snapdragon and I've made it. Is Mary asleep again? She sleeps in front of that fire a lot. She seems to behave like someone older than even her mother is. So this is good. The, the farm is really coming together now. I'm happy. So back to HBCUs, a lot of HBCUs started off as schools, started off as church schools, started off as um, with endowments from wealthy northerners. And as the education level of folks, the students increased, they transitioned into colleges, many of them. Now some started off as colleges, but some started off just as places where uh, former slaves could learn to read and write. And so there are about 98 HBCUs in the United States. In many, many states, there are a few states that have none, but there are many states that have plenty of them. Okay, Sam, who is a woodworker, is going to make some furniture. Mary is just going to sleep. Ruby May. Ruby May is in the bathtub. And she is having a blast. Okay, that's good. And I don't know that anybody really is working the farm. So that concerns me. Uh-oh, Sam must have knocked himself out with a hammer. <laughs> Careful there, woodworker. Okay, and Ruby, not Ruby, Gladdy has plenty of fish. So we can bring Gladdy home. She's doing very well now. This time, I'm not going to sell the fish. Because I think you can use fish as bait for other fish. You're the best, Ruby May, but he's got to work. Oh, there's Gladdy. Okay, Gladdy can get some fish roasted. She may be cold. Oh, Mary's awake. Mary seems to have a lot more needs than solutions, in my opinion. Oh, she's lazy, that's why. Oh, it's coming back to me. Okay, Mary is lazy, and that is why she frequently falls asleep. Okay, Ruby May can roast some fish. And we'll start queuing that fish up for others to eat. And two of them are vegetarian, I think. They don't really eat the fish. Or if they eat the fish, they have some stomach problems. And the good thing is that they can eat the fire leaf, and that makes their stomachs better. So he did make something. Sam did make something, but I can't find it. I'm not sure where it is, but he's hungry, so let's get him to eat parsley and strawberries. There we go. And he is probably not the only person. He's probably not the only one hungry. So let's get Ruby May to eat parsley and strawberries too. And Mary is only a little hungry. And Gladdy, of course, is cooking, so I'm not worrying about her hunger at this point. Oh, look at that beautiful parsley. There you go. Ruby May is still hungry, so she can eat that avocado. Actually goes a long way. Eat the avocado and eat the parsley. And Sam, I don't think he ever did eat. And he's hungry. 
and it sounds like he's fussy about something. Let's get him to eat some veggies. Come on, man. Eat those veggies. What's Gladdy doing? She's got the fish. I think it's in her... In oh, she's eating the fish. Okay. That's fine. Where's Mary? Mary's in the tub. I've got too many... I'm in charge of too many people. Look at the family. They're all doing really well. Looks like nothing needs to be handled. And Mary, who will probably fall asleep, uh, should actually be knitting. Mary's a knitter, a knitter. And she can knit socks. Well done. Okay, we'll get Mary knitting. Get Sam. He's taking a bath. Oh, he's cleaning the bath. Did he ever eat? I don't think he ever ate. Yeah, he's hungry, so let's cue that up again. Hopefully it'll take this time. Ruby Mae is also hungry, but she's also sleepy, so looks like she's made her choice. I like Gladdy because she is out there active, doing her thing, contributing to the family. She's fantastic. Mary, on the other hand, I think just does whatever minimum amount of things she can do. Good. We got Sam eating, although I think he's super hungry and that's not going to cut it. Let me see what he's got in his inventory that he can eat. Does anybody have anything in their inventory that Sam can eat? Oh, he's playing that broke down guitar. Cool. I don't know what wet socks means. Glad he's got to go to the bathroom. That much I understand. But I don't know what wet socks is. How are the plants doing? Those are out of season. Those are out of season? Yeah. No strawberries. Parsley? Is this parsley? Oh. I don't want to... I don't want to use fish to fertilize. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I want them to fertilize with other plants because they need the food frankly so I don't want to squander it all as fertilizer although it might be a great fertilizer I don't know I'm not any sort of farmer I need some help there okay now I do want these avocado to be well fertilized because those things are cash cow so we can or oh, we can use that minnow to get more fish Oh, he's still hungry. Poor guy. Please eat, my young friend. Oh, Mary knitted some socks. Huzzah. Is she hungry? She is hungry. She's hungry and tired. Looks like the Johnson family is asleep, and I think this is a good place to leave you. I'm hoping there, there will be a baby in the next episode. I think that would be exciting. Thank you so much for watching. Come on back and see what happens next in the Decades Challenge HBCU Edition. Bye-bye.